One of the benefits of retiring in the Philippines is that there is an area for every type of retiree. So today we will be focusing on three different areas to retire if you are looking for a more relaxed and peaceful way of life. The region of Davao. When we think about the south of Davao, we tend to think about Davao City, but there are some fantastic areas outside of the main city. To save time, here are some areas that are popular with foreigners and Filipinos. One advantage of living in the region of Davao is that accessibility to the main city and other areas are high. If you are interested in beach life, it's recommended to visit Samal Island and smaller cities such as Mati. However, even though Samal Island is close to Davao City, Mati City is just over 4 hours away from Davao. The cost by bus is around 200 pesos or around 1,500 to 2,000 pesos with a private taxi. Even though the area has seen great transformation over the years, it remains a relatively relaxed and comfortable place for foreigners to retire in the Philippines. Previously, I've spoken about Samal Mao Island, Davao and other areas outside of Davao City, so it's recommended to check those out if you're looking for more information. Palawan Island Palawan Island is perhaps one of the most visually stunning areas of the Philippines. Due to its size, there are some fantastic areas to explore, and even after some time you will find new things to do and see on the island. Puerto Princesa is the main city and is where the airport is located. Even though the city has a few resorts and guest houses, it is not a large metropolitan city so it does offer a much quieter way of life for retirees. Having said this, if you are not interested in city life, there are several other areas to choose from. The north side of the island is perhaps one of the most well-known areas outside of the main city due to its extensive coverage by travel bloggers over the years. El Nido is one of the best areas to enjoy white sandy beaches and crystal clear waters. Even though this area is heavily touristic, life has been much quieter in Palawan due to the recent pandemic. I would love to cover this area in more detail, specifically going over the cost of living, things to do, what is life like and so many more things. So if you are interested, please let me know in the comments and I will add this to the schedule. Bahol. Bahol is also an area that is known for its tourism, but there has been an increasing number of retirees choosing to retire in Bahol over the years. But why do they choose this area and not another? One of the reasons reasons is its accessibility from other areas such as Leyte or Cebu City. Looking through the latest data, a ferry from Cebu to Bahol is around $20 but this can be lowered depending on the cabin, operator and time that you choose. Other reasons why Bahol is becoming a hotspot for retirement in the Philippines is due to its cost of living, friendly locals and beautiful coral reefs. Several small islands are stretching all across Bahol Island. Some of these smaller islands have resorts which may be a great option if you are looking to live on a small island. 